Hi everyone and welcome back to another Stamptember party. Simon's stamp has an amazing release for September, packed with beautiful stamps and dies. This video is part of a party and you will be able to see lots and lots of inspiration using the new products. For today I decided to go with the balloon alphabet just because I find it very versatile. You can easily customize your projects by stamping for example the name of the recipient or stamping your own sentiment like I'm going to do today. And I think that it's one of those stamp sets that uh, never gets old and you will be grabbing for it again and again. I am going to use the letters and stamp the word hello so that I can cut it out later on. For that I'm using my Misty. First I stamp the letter with a lighter shade and then I go ahead and touch only the base of the letter with a darker shade. And this way I end up having a kind of a shadow at the base of the letter. And you can see I went here with the lighter shade again one more time just to help the blending even more. I will continue the same technique with all the letters until I have my whole hello word finished and uh, I am following the rainbow order. So here I used oranges for my letter E. All the inks that I am using are by Altenew by the way. Here I'm going with yellow for the letter L and this is where I decided that I don't like the letter H. In the beginning I had that uh, idea of going in and using pale colors for my balloons but once I stamped the E and the L which look more vibrant as you can see I decided that I need to go back and stamp the H with nice and vibrant reds. I did play around a bit with stamping and inking and once I was happy with my letters I went ahead and die cut all the letters using the matching dies. I am placing all the dies on top of the letters, securing them down with a piece of purple tape. And I'm also going to use the two dies that cut out strings. I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine and here are all the pieces ready to go. In the stamp set there are stamps that you can use for the strings, I decided to not use them at all. Since I don't have any black lines around my balloons, I don't need to have black lines for the strings either. Now I'm going to create a background, so here I have a white panel which is slightly smaller than a standard card. I'm using an older stencil by my favorite things and with my brush I'm going over it using Distress Oxide Ink. It is a really fun technique and super easy to do and uh, I go back to it again and again when I want to create a lovely sky. So here my sky is ready to go, all I need to do is to arrange the letters somehow on top of it and stick them down. I am using Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back of each letter but you can use uh, foam tape if you want to pop the letters on top of your background. And then of course I'm going to add some glue at the strings and just secure them down as well. Notice that as I am sticking down the strings I am making sure that I turn them around so they don't look identical. There are two different designs of those strings, so just by turning them around and uh, switching their position, you will be able to get some variation, so nothing looks alike. If you don't have a balloon stamp set in your stash, I think this is a must-have. It's one of those uh, stamp sets that you can use again and again. Balloons make great uh, birthday cards, they make great celebration cards, and they are great also for creating baby cards. Now I am using my Nouveau Shimmer Pen to add some shine on the letters. Another fun thing that you can do with those balloons is to use glossy accents on top of it, which is going to make a really fun effect. And I am trying here to catch the light for you so you can see how shiny they look. Now I am going to add a few gems here and there just to add an extra touch of uh, shine on my card. For that I'm using uh, crystals by Studio Katia, which I'm going to stick them down with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. Then finally I'm going to stick this panel on top of my standard card that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, and I do have foam tape at the back. To finish off my card and to complete my sentiment I just stamped one more sentiment with Versamark ink over black cardstock and I embossed it with white embossing powder. I really love the contrast that this gives on my card. And you can see here the finished card. Don't forget that everything I used is linked down below in the description area, just like always. Make sure to visit my blog, you will find there an exclusive code and I have all the info there about the new release as well as the blog party that is going on today. 
I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for visiting today and I'll see you all next time.